I teach theater, stage makeup, theater makeup, um, and I am one of the directors on all the shows that we do. <laughs> so, awesome. yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your costume department. So, um, <laughs> how do I say this? So we have a closet here that has probably 2,000 items in it. Um, boxes and well probably even more than that uh, everything you can think of and plus we have a whole uh, up in the balcony there's boxes and boxes up there and so we first we try to choose things that we have on hand that we can use um, sometimes we buy some stuff very rarely we rent costumes because that's money that doesn't come back to us you know and, and so if we can make something that we could possibly reuse um, or you know they can show hey we made this instead of buying it or renting it we definitely try to do that first and but sometimes buying the materials is just as expensive as <laughs> as it is to um, rent them it's more fun to make buy them but it's way more fun would you guys yeah. say that <laughs> this is the first year I've really had a true costume crew um, where I asked them I asked the girls I knew girls that were in my class people that were interested we had people sign up um, when we had a big meeting and so um, these four plus one or two others, yeah, um, are definitely the ones that are my mainstay that I turn to. Hey, I need help with this, I need help with that. They help me organize, they help me put some stuff together, create items. Um, if I show them a picture of something, they're like, okay, I can do that, <laughs> I can make that. And then we kind of bounce ideas off of each other and um, you know, they show me along the way what they're working on and, and, and ask you know, opinions or what they should do about this part or that part. But for the most part, they're so creative. I do uh, a lot of Goodwill shopping. We all do a lot of Goodwill shopping. <laughs> yeah, we go on trips together and go meet and yeah. pick stuff out. So. And would you take donations if people had oh, them? Absolutely. There's so much in okay. here that's been donated. Yeah, thankfully, because that's we use a lot of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And tell me about the production coming up, the winter production. So um, the winter production is a Midsummer Night's Texas Size Nightmare. And it is basically a bunch, a really small town in Texas, and they are um, a community, community theater, quote unquote, trying to put on a Midsummer Night's Dream. Not a clue what they're doing. They don't have the right costumes. They don't have a budget. Um, and so they're, they are trying to perform Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, most people don't learn their lines. One person dresses a cat, another one's a pirate. We've got a disco king in it. And then um, within that play, of course, is Pyramus and Thisbe, so you've got the room also trying to put on their play so we call it our play within a play within a play oh well <laughs> and it's crazy it's crazy yeah just just very chaotic and funny and a lot of slapstick comedy but it's what we need right now and it sounds like it's a real team kind of a volunteer effort yes yep they're all volunteers of course and because mm -hmm. they're students and, um, but they show up and they work hard really hard yeah awesome. so like I said I couldn't do it without them and what are some of the life lessons that you think are taught through being in the costume department? Um, oh gosh, um, along with just just soft skills, you, you know, um, they are learning communication, they are learning to collaborate, um, they're using their creativity, um, they make friends, friendships for sure. Um, you know, we, we build a bond too that uh, I think will continue until they graduate and hopefully they take that on to whatever they do you know, in, in their life careers or in college also.